what is going on everybody? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I forgot what I was going to say. I'm oh, yeah. uploading this video That's right. Nomad Internet. What's going on everybody? Eric here from Nomadic yeah. Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description if you're still looking for some mobile unlimited internet on the road. We're still in that heat wave thing I talked about in my last video. But uh, over here in Missouri, my buddy Robert's house. You know, I actually think this is the first time. Oh, Amazon, Amazonians here. <laughs> we need a, a filter because we got the uh, pool set up in the backyard. This is the first time that I actually have not had a huge list of projects to do. <laughs> I mean, there's a couple things we, we could do, but we just got back from uh, some awesome barbecue. I'll show you a picture of the pulled pork and mac and cheese there and uh, had a good ride. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go dip in the pool here later. Thanks for joining me guys. Yeah, it's uh, it's warm and uh, humid here. I uh, Robert helped me unhook the motorcycle trailer and we parked it in the side lot. And then I was gonna say Yoda. Uh, Frida fits where Yoda used to fit here in his front yard with some I call them manual leveling jacks over there, the orange ones that you drive up on. So uh, we're good. Got the AC cranked off, solar also plugged in, getting a few amps from Robert here. And uh, it is time to jump in the pool and cool off. Jeez, somebody needs to mow the lawn out here. <laughs> Robert's working on his uh, off-grid situation with solar. Said his meter's going backwards. And then um, see all these hoses zigzagging back and forth here in the sun? Yeah, well, Robert did this uh, last year actually the same way. And uh, just turned this into a heated pool actually. So there's a filter down here, grabbing the water and then sending the water through all the hoses out here in the sunlight. And by the time it gets pumped all the way back into this last little hose right here, <laughs> it's actually coming out warm to the touch. Oh yeah, it's actually warmer, warmer than earlier today. That's great. And then there's also the uh, stock filter on the other side. That's what Amazon was dropping off was the, the filter for the uh, pump down there. But uh, yeah, I think she's ready. I think she's asking for it, guys. Yep. She needs some chlorine and a screen. Oh yeah, that definitely feels refreshing. That's what I'm talking about. Feels good. Robert, he's being a, being a poon over there, won't get in. How much warmer does it have to be? 10. 10 degrees warmer. Okay. Well, it's pretty good. I think we did good. Yeah. I think we did good. I probably warmed up 10 degrees in one day. A little bit, yeah. So about five days ago on Patreon and two days ago on Instagram, I uh, showed some pictures and updates uh, on what I had done to Frida, the trailer, the motorcycle and last year on tater tot actually i spent my second to last day in illinois when i was there at modified auto getting a complete underglow package done on frida in the trailer so before it gets dark and i show you this to put to put this into perspective uh, a lot of people go to campgrounds and they put rope lights around their campsite or hang lights on their awning or from their rv to the post or something like that to, to light it up and you guys know i love my led lights i have enjoyed tater tots underglow and then i got lights also put on black betty as well i love underglow lighting and uh that's what I had done on my second to last day. It was an actual all day project. David there, the uh, one of the audio technicians at Modified Auto, spent all day on his back working on Frida and worked overtime to get the trailer done so that my entire fleet is lit up. And uh, here, as soon as it gets dark here in Missouri, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. First, I'll show you the inside. Just be mindful that it's not quite dark yet, but Okay, so I did this, and this is something that I have done with all of my RVs. I added LED strips, and uh, it's really cool. <laughs> it's better and different than the regular stock white lights. It comes with a little remote, so I can change it to a uh, blue. 
<laughs> it just depends on, well, you could change it to e e like either season. If you wanted red, red for uh, Christmas or something, or if I wanted to match modified auto and do purple or something, you know? I just, people that know me know I, I love my greenery. I love my greenery. So uh, that's what it looks like on, on, on the inside. And it comes with uh, 3M tape. Just got this on Amazon, this this one strip. So so all the light that you see inside cost me 22 bucks. That's it, 22 bucks. And then it's got a DC converter right there with a the remote, super easy. All right, so what I realized at the shop before I left is that if you wait too long, this camera does not look good when you try to showcase this. Um, of course, I've got the glow kit here on Black Betty, which I can change the colors on. But also now, as we stand back, the entire RV, the wheel wells, um, well, let's walk around actually. Actually, I think it looks better now that it, that it isn't actually pitch black dark. I mean, it, it looks good at night too. There we go. Yeah, that does look better. So yeah, you can see the wheel wells lit up, both of them. Both of them? Cool. It's a, it was a major project. Yeah. And uh, the only other thing is the fact that you saw the motorcycle, you see the RV, but we also, on the back, we've got the normal trailer light four pin, but the LED system that we put in is also uh, four wires. So Wayne and I added another trailer hitch extension here. So you can see there's two of them that way uh, When the trailer is hooked up, there it is right there There's the regular trailer lights right there. There's the LED underglow kit on the trailer That's right. I can't show you that right now So I will flash a picture on the screen right now of what it looked like before I left base camp there the uh, shop uh, as far as having everything lit up all at once. Actually, I think I also have some pictures of the smart car in the shot too. So basically my entire fleet is lit up with the Underglow XK, XK kit from uh, Modified Auto there. And uh, I really appreciate what David was able to do there at Modified Auto. He busted his butt and it looks so cool and it's gonna be so nice. Also, I forgot about the porch light. Let me turn that on real quick. Hey, Tara Tara. Hey, Opie Dopey. So imagine it's nighttime. We got the entire interior all green and we're trying to get that really cool star laps shot. We got the outdoor light lighting up everything, the whole RV, uh, the motorcycle parked in front and the trailer would be lit as well, like you saw in the, in the pictures. And uh, yeah, there aren't too many people there that get underglow kits for their RV system, but um, I love it. And uh, I have loved all the work they've done there at Modified Auto. A piece of them is going with me forever on the road. So cool. All we have to do is open up my XK Glow app here on my phone, and then we'll go down to Palette, if I can do this one-handed, hang on. Okay, so now you can see the bike and the RV and everything. I can swirl these over and make everything purple now. If my smart car was here, the same thing would happen. If my trailer was plugged in, it would also be doing the same thing through one app, which is really cool. I gotta change the uh, outdoor light there too, but somebody said blue would be a good color. Blue, right? Because my RV's all blue around here. And then is the bike, yep, the bike's blue now too, see? I don't know, it just adds something a little different to the look, right? I don't know, maybe I'm just easily amused. It's no secret if you look back at all my videos, I like awesome lights and being able to control the mood. Maybe it's something you want to add into your life later and you're going to find yourself in East Alton, Illinois. You're going to talk to Sean and make Dave get back down on his back and put some LED lights in your rig as well. <laughs> I love it, that's all I'm saying. I'm gonna be here one more night here in the Kansas City area, and then I'm gonna be heading west towards Denver, where this RV is from. Well, that'll be interesting, so stay tuned. I'll see you in a couple days, guys. Bye-bye. So you should have seen how Opie and Jasmine were doing it first. Opie was hissing like crazy, and now, look, Robert's giving them treats, and they're coping. They're doing really good.
Look how, look how close you guys can get. Yeah. That's, that's good kitties. It's good poppies. Should we get a spaghetti noodle? And then you guys can share the spaghetti noodle? Yeah. That's good jobs here. I think, I think Tara might need some too. Okay, Tara, do you want some? There you go. Go, Tara. You don't want to hang out with that puppy? That, that dirty, dirty dog. You don't want to hang out with the dirty dog? Okay. Hey. Opie, what about that one? Who's going to get that one, though? Who's going to get it? <laughs> Put that paw down. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Opie, you get one. You're a good boy. Yeah, it's a good. Okay, guys. All right.